it was kind of the culmination of all the hard work we had done since 1981 from the formation of the band. Three years later, you know, uh, we're playing Roseland, sold out, and just like looking out at the sea of people going, holy crap, like, you know, this is amazing. You know, we're obviously doing something right. I just remember, obviously, it was a it was a big deal because we sold out Roseland, uh, and it was kind of unheard of for bands that didn't have major label record deals at the time to be able to sell that many tickets. But you know, 3,500 people bought tickets to that show, and uh, it was really exciting. Obviously, us being the only New York band on the bill, uh, it was certainly going to be the biggest show we had ever played in New York City. And uh, I remember coming on stage and we opened with Death Rider, and I remember just a sea of hands every yeah. fist was in the air and every kid was headbanging and um, it was everything we could have hoped for uh, I also remember they trashed like all the bathrooms at Roseland that night they were ripping concrete like urinals out of the walls and all those lamps that were all over that that like was the wrong venue for that show um, I felt bad because it's such a beautiful venue and kids kind of destroyed it um, and that's also the night uh, we were so happy because it was the last show we ever did with Neil Turbin. <laughs> the energy for that night, the energy, you knew there was a movement going on. And that really, it really made sense at that moment. It was such a big thing going on. And I think, that, and the guest list that night was ridiculous because we were the opening band on that, remember? And we didn't have guests. I remember everybody in our families wanted to come. It was, that's what I remember, trying to get people in and stuff. But it just, it's a great thing. It was also, but, all the major labels were there, yeah, and yeah. you know they were all sniffing around. And it was basically off the back of that show, we got we signed to Island, Metallica right. signed to Elektra, Raven went to Atlantic. So you know it just shows you how these three little you know indie bands, um, you know that was kind of the night in a sense we made it, yeah. you know, in, in a weird way. Hey, what's up? I'm Frank Bello, Joey Belladonna, Scotty, and please subscribe to Louder Noise. Yes, please.